Okay, there we go. Hello. Hello, Lorgan GG on first. Cabbage, thank you for the happy bit. That bit is so happy. Look at it spitting happily. A stream you can watch. Wonderful. Yeah. I, I try on my days off. I've been trying to do like an earlier uh, an earlier day stream. Uh, mostly <laughs> mo mostly it's because I really want to play more Noita and I figure I I can still do other things if I do like an early day Noita and then I can I can take a break do some like stuff I need to get done midday uh, you know maybe get groceries or make food or something and then I can stream something else in the evening and then I don't get super burned out on any one given thing. Uh, previously, I used to just... I used to just do one really long stream, like, every weekend day. Um, but... And, and I still... I'm trying to decide if I want to do that on Thursday. The indie game book club game this month is one shot. And I've been trying to decide if I want to play one shot this evening... Or if I want to just try and do a really big one-shot stream on uh, on Thursday, which is my next day off. I haven't decided yet. Probably see how I'm feeling when I am getting ready to stream again later. More Noita equals more streams for me. Excellent. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. So yesterday... Yesterday I left off with, uh, um, working on my map more, which is something I would like to do, don't get me wrong. However, um, I was thinking that maybe instead of going and fixing more map this very second, what I instead might do is, uh, I made a backup last night before I ended, so I need to go make sure I actually made that. And I'm not hallucinating again. Okay, it was yesterday 3.18? Yes. At 11.20 at night? Yes, that sounds right. Okay. Um. So. There is. There is an orb. There is an orb that we know the location of. So, so we're at nine orbs. Out of the. The. Uh, what I assume is 11 orbs. Right? So. You would think we have two orbs we haven't found yet. Except, um, I actually do know where one of these orbs is, and I just haven't gotten it. It's at the very beginning. But we haven't gotten it because it's very scary to get. Um, so, there's like a big spooky boy that, that gets summoned when we get it. I was thinking, as I was lying in bed this morning, and realizing that I could start the stream by trying to get that. I was thinking we could try and place a trap for it, which is something we've tried to do before, but now I have significantly more tools <laughs> at my disposal for placing said trap. So I might I might try and set up a trap. Won't have to start a stream because having dinner in five minutes, but we'll be back halfway through. Wonderful. I hope you have a good dinner. I'm trying to decide what I want for like brunch. Like I haven't eaten yet today. And I don't know if I want to, like, order some food. I don't really have anything right now I want to make, I don't think. But I could also get some groceries. I don't know. My problem with grocery getting is I never know what I want to make. Like, it's a whole cycle. Okay. But I was thinking, like, we got this, right? We could surely make a... We don't need this here anymore. Let's, let's set the formation now. We could surely make some sort of, uh, trap for the boy. I don't know if we can make it our friend. That would be funny, though.
Deadly, hello. Wonder. Okay, we could also. Where's where's my explosion stuff? Oh, it's over there. This one have it has a lot, yeah. Okay. What if okay? That looks pretty scary. Oh. I can't even see the plasma. Nice. Does the plasma prevent the slime from existing now? There's the slime. Okay, okay I think the slime is still. Let's let's go test this on somebody in here. Okay, well you're invincible, I don't really like that. You know, that's pretty fun. The null shot. I was hoping the null shot would only apply to the uh, thing, but I'm wondering if it's applying to something else too. Oh, it still seems like it's doing a lot. We're driving. Doing good. Nice. I'm trying to decide how I want to make a, uh... It's time- so... Alright, Cabbage, have a good food. So, I am... What I was saying a minute ago is... I'm gonna start today by going to get- There's- there's an orb at the beginning of the- Like, at the beginning of a run, there's an orb that we do not get because it's very dangerous to collect. And, uh, a dude spawns. And I want to get that orb. I think, I think that we could do that. So I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to decide how to best do it. Um, and I wish I had more triggers, because then I could put like some triggers here. Do my errands and then lose myself in the valley. I kind of need to do errands today. Today is like my first day off in like a week, so I gotta do my, you know, general weekly errands. But the only real errand I have is make sure I get some groceries for the week. And I haven't decided if I'm going to just order groceries or go and get groceries. On one hand, I'm like, oh, I should go get groceries. It's also kind of nice out, but also I've been like trying to make sure I go outside in the niceness recently, so I don't like feel like I have to go outside. Ah. Uh, and it's not that much. Ooh, Stardew Valley. The update just launched. Oh. 
I might have to start. Torny and I were talking about maybe doing a new farm together when it launched. That could be very fun. Also those saw blades. the gunpowder adds to this or not. I do think it doesn't matter if I have the null shot. I think the null shot's fine. I'll leave that. There is a torch and a thing there. It's very funny. This is a good booby trap spell. I think we'll do this. It lasts. A, I think it lasts long enough. I think we can make use of this. So I think we'll place a few of these. It is raining fire. I don't know if it's gonna do exactly everything I want it to do, but I think it's gonna work. Maybe I should place this. Yeah. Okay. The short range homing is actually helpful. I didn't. I didn't know if it would be or not. I. I never feel like I see it happen. But I see the difference now. Yes, hello, Bjorta. Good day. We're gonna... Why is there just an explosive box here? Oh, Jesus, fuck. God. Uh... You hear the explosions and lasers making a sick beat? That's true, they were. <laughs> that would be a good... Uh... You know, one of those good, like, game sound effects songs. Okay, I'm trying to look. Is there anything else from these that I would want? I don't think so. I don't know if the plasma beam enhance will actually, like, enhance that. I suppose I could try. Thank you. 
critical on burning. I mean, I think the boss dude will be burning. Let's, uh... Get this damage plus. Let's get this critical on burning. Alright. I, like... Part of me wants to put these on here to, like, modify this more, but I don't know. I don't know if that's actually gonna do it. Alright. I think we have our booby trap spell kind of set up. I think... I think this is how I want it to be. Let's check on shield. Be a hole somewhere over here. Now you're a fish. I don't want the fish. I want this hole. Okay. So our plan. I left a tablet. Uh -huh. Our plan is to leave uh, booby traps here. Here's the area. Yeah. Can I please go up here? Here's the area. We're gonna, uh... Uh... Spooky boy? Wait a second. I'm confused. Huh. Alright, well... Well, I thought we were fighting... This boy. But this boy wasn't here. We laid all these traps for nothing. Hmm. So normally when you come over here, like, big scary enemy dude spawns right there. But they did not spawn. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, like, it's fine. I'm just, like, kind of confused. I don't know if I did something to make them not spawn. Uh, just gonna check. I don't know if, uh... I don't know if this text, if there's gonna be any text that's here. I know I've kind of checked before and didn't really see any text here, but I thought I would check again. I feel like there should be text here, but I'm always so scared of this area, you know? Okay. So this is volume two. I don't think volume two I've taken to the thing. Oh, volume two I have taken to the thing. I must have done a thing where I ran and grabbed it and ran away. Hm. 
I suppose I could have always like stolen these things by going under it and shooting like a black hole up. That never really occurred to me until right this very second. I just always have so much fear of this area. That means we're only one orb away. We did something. Something that prevents that boss from appearing. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm still almost a, I'm almost a little like bummed. I was I was expecting the boss to show up. And then we were going to hopefully trap it. good. Yes, our goal is to collect orb. So, I, I have this theory that there's 11 orbs on the world because the game gave me an achievement when I collected an 11th orb, although I did not get all 11 in this world. I got them by going to the mirror worlds. Uh, but once I got in the 11th orb, it was like, oh, you've collected all the orbs. And I was like, hmm, hmm, I did not do that game. So, um, or more specifically, the achievement, each orb has to do with knowledge, and the achievement was like, you have true knowledge, and I was like, no, I do not. So, um, so game was spoilers, I think. But that's given us, like, a, a, a benchmark, so we think there's 11 orbs, which means I am only missing one orb. I'm missing Mambo number 11. Well, I gotta go put, I gotta go put all my, like, pranking spells down. My, my Leia Trap spells. My Home Alone spells. I can leave. I can leave Plasma Orbit with the Plasma stuff. That does make sense. I just felt like I should have an Orbit area. Seems like a funny wand. Like part of me wants to leave these here, just have a, a kind of funny wand here. I will run out of collecting space though. But maybe it's worth it for funny wand. Oh! I can't not have. That's why I didn't know where to put you. You have to stay up here, because I actually use you sometimes. Stable teleport soon. What if we go? Oh, oh, instrument, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, instrument. I hope you're fine.
There's no guiding. Hey. Hey! You're supposed to be guiding me somewhere. Why no guide? Guide me somewhere if there is literally somewhere close enough? Hmm. What if we go down? Scammed. I've not been scammed. I... Twitch mobile buffering for feels like internet because there's no public Wi-Fi. Oof. Don't let me send message now. Rip. Thank goodness for the Discord link. GG ready for building the Discord link. There's still nothing. This way. Is like this. LOL, get poisoned. We got like curse poisoned. It's true. You know what? We should use the uh, this. get the random, the random. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, okay. I found where the lava was. The lava was right there, in case you were wondering. The lava, it was there. It was there the whole time. Oh, that didn't scare me. You thought I was spooked. <laughs> I was spooked, yes. I was very spooked. That spooked me. Oh my god. Okay. Get overheated. It's true. I did get overheated. Um, let's get some lava to blood.
I think, I think it's fine. I don't think I actually have to change anything else about this wand. Let's... Let's try this really quick. Okay, we've already like used all the mana on that one. Oh, oh goodness. Much just need those, and then we could probably give it another add mana from there. Oh, you know what? The black hole one does not need an add mana. Okay, we could do that. Uh, I don't have an extra dual cast. That would be nice. Though. Question mark. Might be better with it on though. No. Oh, you know what we might want to do? Okay, we might want to move this here. We might want to move this digging bolt here. Just put you here for a second. <sighs> really wish I had multi, like a. I wish I had an extra multi cast thing with me. That would be very convenient. That's blood it is! Yes, we are converting we are converting lava to blood. World famous conversion, lava to blood. Okay, we'll just use this to go again. Yeah, as one does. A little faster. I think this is. Yeah, I also love this game's graphics. I, I'm a big fan of like uh, the the this kind of style of pixel graphics, um, and it's done in a way with very good contrast. Because my usual biggest fear with stuff like this is that there's not enough contrast, and then I can't see what's going on. But um, this this is very visually clear, in my opinion. Dug down, so I think I can move this back to here. I don't think anything else is taken off of anything else right now. I think, I think we're all good. Yeah, I didn't think that through.
What? Power plant two? What the fuck is this? that now. So we found power plant two. The fuck is in power? Oh my god! I'm bad. What does one find in power plant two? The big empty area. I don't like the big empty area. This feels like the kind of area where you have to question what you're doing. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this. Oh no. What is this? Why is this empty? Why is this here? Here, have a good day. I hope you take care. What? See you, and 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 and. What the butt? Oh, butt spot. Butt spot's a classic. Butt spot, you know. See ya and bike dance joy. Your bike dance with good graphics. Butt spot just randomly copies messages. There's no, there is no trigger for it. It's just posting messages. It just has a, it has a random chance of 
of choosing a message to Butterfly. Still not the end. Okay, this seems like it's ends. Whoa! Mobile chat says disconnected, I don't know. Okay, so there is actually enemies in this. Really? It seems like it goes on indefinitely. Like... Uh, it certainly feels pretty indefinite. It is not indefinite. It is not indefinite. We found a we found an endpoint. Funky, funky cloud? I don't like funky cloud. Okay, so we're... We're absurdly deep now, I feel like. Then, does anything else appear? So why is that point there? Does it mark something?
Still no... Still no other... other thing. I mean, I am also digging through the blood, so I would think it counts. I feel like this counts as digging. I'm specifically making lava rocks by cooling the lava with blood, and then, and then digging through those rocks. If that doesn't count, I don't, I don't know what does. Just gonna go reinforce the ceiling on this. Is uh, I think it's a not super like strong ceiling. I'm expecting to find, but like the fact that there was just like a random point in that seemingly infinite tunnel makes me feel like that is to line something up. Like, like what other reason would you put a big old point there, right? Like that's gotta, it's gotta be a reason for that. All right, I don't have the thing. Why am I not digging? I gotta go set the digging back. Uh, digging, digging. You know, I could. Let's just test this really quick. If we put that like that, and then that, and we remove the mist. Does this still work? It's a lot faster. But I don't know what the radius is. Is the radius still the same? Wow, the radius is basically the exact same. Okay, hold on. Hold on! We are about to improve this. Where's my... You? Real cool. That's not working. Uh, okay. Here. 
Can I not have recoil dampening? I just don't. We don't get the recoil dampening effect. Okay. I mean, maybe it's dampening it a little bit. There, we could... This is like, gonna completely negate some of my mana drain stuff. Let's test. Uh, oh, because you have cast it. I see, I see. Um, hmm. Probably not better, because it's probably worse, right? Yeah. We might as well just li live with the recoil. This this is not... Removing the recoil, not helpful, if it's going to do all those effects.
This area is scary. What if we throw a lava to blood black hole in there? Hey! We're getting, we're getting directions. Where are we? Directions say to go up. I don't want to be directly under that. Could continue following this sideways. But we are getting a direction, which is nice. somehow just didn't notice that enemy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yes, we get slime. Oh, I just realized my little... My slime mist could put out fires for me. Like, when I get on fire. That's, that's convenient. We'll have to remember to slime mist ourselves. Should I put that back in here?
on here. This area is spooky. Okay, goodness, um... Alright, this is just like, I'm so on the edge of my seat, I'm, I'm like, where... Where am I going? I kinda thought we were gonna find something by now. I thought this was gonna take me somewhere. But instead, I'm just in hell. I feel like I should maybe follow that guiding powder. Uh... Like, is something this way? I don't know. I feel like there should be. You <laughs> love giggle so much. I wanna somehow improve it. I, I feel like I need to somehow tweak the animation, but I'm not quite sure how to take it. Like it's got a stiffness that that I want to address. I just haven't figured out how to. I have some ideas, but. They mostly require a bunch of effort and they might not work, so... Nothing has happened yet. Yeah, basically I need to figure out how I want to make the arms move. That's... That is... That is the... The, the issue. I think... My my current idea. Ah, hello, Kevin. <laughs> Come back. Oh, 
my, my current idea with Giggle is that I think I want to... It's, it's two different frames, and right now they just have specific delays in between playing them. But I think that if I have them... Uh, if I run each frame through a... Like an animation um, filter thing. So that each one has like this... Uh, like a giggle animation. You know, there's like automated giggle things. I think Twitch even has one now, if I remember right. If I were to run each frame on its own through one of those, I could then splice together the results into um, something that I think would look more alive. Less less stiff with the arms. Um, but it would require a bunch of... A bunch of effort. So it hasn't been done yet. But also GG Dinner Cabbage. I hope it was good Din Din. We are doing spooky things. more or less like the same direction, right? It's just up one. Which up a lot is basically what we got from the other one too, right? GK, hello! Thank you for reminding me not to die. That is a good plan. Thank you for reminding me to hydrate. I am... Ah, evil crystal. I am uh, finishing some strawberry cream water that I opened last night. We are also trying to step in the slime and health in order to keep us hydrated so that we're not burning. So thank you for reminding me to hydrate. I'm still finishing up. How have you been? I have been well. I am addicted to it. It's very good. Um, it's it's by far one of my favorite like flavor waters. And unlike unlike like so here's the thing. I don't I don't love plain water all that much. Um, but this is like, you know, it's it's basically it's all the deliciousness of like soda, but it's, it's water. It's true. The Torney the Torney and Matt having a having a drink together. Pointing to the moon down there, is it? That's not what this is. Maybe it is. You know what? It could be. Got a ritual, oh my gosh. Deadly with the treat ritual. TGK with some additional treats. We will have to do that in just a moment. Um, I guess I could do it right now. This is probably about as safe as I'm gonna find down here. Ha <laughs> ha 
we have the treats. We have the boy beads. Oh my gosh. Yes, tree toes. Your nose is killing you, oh no. You should have it arrested for attempted murder. Oof, big sneeze. I feel like if I actually had, if I actually had an issue where I was sneezing on stop, then I would be like, all right, we're taking a couple of Benadryl and we're just sleeping the day away with the antihistamine power. I would, I'd be so sick of that. I don't like sneezes. I mean, I think like if a sneeze gets rid of what's going on, you know, you got like the weird nose tickle or something, then like, obviously that's great. Gidge, when lethal? I don't know, nobody asked me lethal. Else, I don't know. There's so many things I have to do that aren't lethal. You're asking lethal, that's true. Right now you're asking lethal. I could potentially play some lethal today. This is true. My plans, my plans for today, I was going to play a little bit in Arnoida, no, 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 I was probably actually going to wrap up soon-ish. Um, and then figure out grocery and lunch situation. And then play something else, and I wasn't sure exactly what. But I was, I was leaning towards one of the games I'm in the middle of playing. So like, either, either a, um... Leica or like a crab. I haven't 
I haven't played Crab with Torny in a few days, which I try to play some some Crab with Torny pretty regularly. Um, lethal's lethal's tricky because lethal, I so quickly lose track of time. continue exploring this area. Like, Lethal is very fun. Um, I was trying, there was a point in time where a lot of people were playing in the evenings, and so what I was, uh, trying to do was, like, uh, wrap up, wrap up anything I was streaming, like, early enough so that I could play Lethal for, like, an hour before bed. Like, do one or two quotas. Um, and that I was having a lot of fun with. In recent days, what what actually has happened is like a lot of times I wrap up in the evenings and then I have played like uh, a little bit of Crab Champion with Jordy. Although, again, haven't done that in the last like three days. Uh, but yeah, try and split up split up the stuff I'm doing. New co-op farm. That's also a thing. Like, Torny has been wanting to play... So, so we... Torny and I have not played Stardew since the last major update. The one that added, like, the, uh... Is it the island or whatever it is? Um, we haven't played since then. We literally, like, did almost everything you could do in the game right before that update came out. We got, like, super burned out on the game. We did, a, a like, a main game playthrough where we, like did like everything and then we did a, a Joja playthrough although in the Joja playthrough we notably uh, I don't know if both of us did this or if it was just me but we we did do the uh, named ourselves after items because there's a bug I don't know if this bug's ever been fixed or if they intentionally at this point just leave it because it's like kind of funny um, but there's notably like a bug in the game where you could name, if you name yourself after an item, you have to use the item like ID, but but if you name yourself, then every time somebody addresses you, you just get one of those items. Um, because of like how the how the code works. You named yourself after a prismatic shard, I think. I think so. I also did. I don't know. So it's very funny. It doesn't like. Um, you can also name animals to get free stuff. Nice. Yeah, um, so we, we definitely made use of this to, like, uh, I think it's Pierre, who always addresses you by name. So, like, every day you can just go talk to Pierre and get a bunch of free items. Um, and it was, uh, it was just very helpful for the JoJo playthrough because, like, most of that is just grinding money. It's just... Like, and we didn't. We're, we're not gonna yeah. play that long. We just want to see. It's what grinding money in a very. Yeah, it was grinding money in a very like depressing way too. So. Yeah, we basically just wanted to see what the Joja stuff was. Well, I think we want to get Joja Chivos, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was like we don't want to do a big long playthrough where we're actually yes. doing this. Yeah, so Joja playthrough is very silly. Made Enderman farms very loud. Yeah, Enderman farms tend to be loud. You gotta. I usually, I usually like uh, mute Minecraft if I'm like surrounded by Enderman. All right, we're gonna we're gonna continue. Exploring this area. Well, this is big safety tunnel. What's interesting is I feel like Moon's over there. So where... If we put some of this down, what do we get? You're saying that way. Okay.
Interesting that there's like a wand pedestal here, but the wand is missing. This is so weird. Most of straight up. They heal again soon, but I need like a big open space for that. Twenty percent of your health. Touch of smoke. New Corbin. We still gotta use New Corbin. I don't think I've ever used that. Starting to get almost my health.
Okay, let's just do a little check with this. Okay, mostly straight up. Now you're pretty sharply turning. Interesting. Oh my god, is this the one I've already been to? This might be the one I've already been to. I have a sneaking suspicion this is in fact the one I've been to. dug out part of the bottom, right? Yeah, I did. Looking for text. Oh, no. Okay. Zeldakins, hello! Thank you for reminding me not to die. Hope you are doing well today. Well, this being here is not what I was hoping for. Yeah, you're just pointing at this. This is like a little background. So, I mean, this is like straight down from the center path there. Guess we could make our way to the right, try and get to that one room. Is there a way we can get... I don't need the light? What if we take... What if we put the light on here? Then we do that. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice.
Oh my god, I didn't know you were sleeping. accidentally clicked uh, OBS instead of clicking the game. Freedom! Freedom! I don't know whose freedom this is. I'm only half free. I'm partially free. I have a kind of way. I'm getting towards a, a one thing. Errands are complete! Nice! GG errands. Mad pickup can be delayed till tomorrow. Nice. I forget my meds all the time. <laughs> I, granted, since I work at the pharmacy, like, it's not that big of a deal if I forget them, because I'm just gonna get them another time. But I have literally come up on the, uh, you know, the automated reminder system that's like, hey, your meds are about to be put away because you haven't picked them up. I'm like, hmm, I should probably do that.
Alright, where are we? So we need to go up. Up, up, up. of the jewel. Saw a great diamond. Invite me to an offering grand treasures. This it said to me, if you wish to follow the path I show you here, it's bringing one of these two, a terrible curse of avarice, the most singular being in this realm. Okay, well that's about the one thing. to lunch or one third. I, I mean, if you happen to be in the area, you could. I will say, because we also, we also are a one thirty to 2 pharmacy, and I just tell everyone, just either come before 1 or after 2, because uh, there's almost always going to be people that don't know about the meal period that show up to the pharmacy, and it's like, it's like, ah, hello people. Hello, people in line. Yes, we're shutting the gates now. It is, it is, in fact, the time for shutting the gates. if I should attempt to bring like another key to this box like we could go get another key right from a parallel world and then we could like get it all all musicked up we could see if the same key opens this box Brought the curse of avarice. It's interesting. This is the most singular being in the realm. I mean, we have we have brought like the friend. I'm just interested about the path I show you here part. Like, if you wish to follow the path I show you here, you must bring one of these two. Like, should I go get the the reward, the, the big grenade, and put the grenade here?
Ow. We could maybe take the sawmith off of this. Oh god, I'm running out of spots up here. I just realized I didn't open up my map. So we learned that if we go somewhere here, there's like a big tunnel down. Like it was in this rock? Did I go through this rock to make sure it didn't? Okay. Maybe before I edit this, I should do some double check. I want to take- I know that somewhere over here is like that tunnel. The tunnel goes like straight down. And I kind of want to take that tunnel and get some goodies. It's like a goodies tunnel. Oh.
Okay, I think it's here. So let's, let's make sure this is safe. That's a really effective digging method. Why didn't I do this before? Oh my god. It clears lava like it's nobody's business. Input our
five bits left. I need to get more. Dang. It's a rough time when you run low on the bits. Uh, where is blood? Thought it was past 1.30 and didn't want to go over just for them to be closed. Yeah, that's fair. I also, I also rationed my bits. I generally, like, unless there's, there's something I specifically want to bits, then I usually, I usually wait until, like, they would either start, like, a hype train or... Or, uh, be part of the hype train. Because I think it's... I, I enjoy... I'm still collecting the hype events. Rock was the person picking up. Yeah. The... So I think the worst thing... <laughs> the whole reason... The whole reason the pharmacies have to close for lunch. This is like... So this is like a awesome corporate gymnastics, right? So there's a huge thing that changed in pharmacy in like the last 10 years, in uh, probably like the last eight years. And that's uh, how pharmacies used to be stacked. So it used to be very common for pharmacies to have two pharmacists. Sometimes, sometimes even three pharmacists. You'd have your like opening pharmacist, and then you'd have like a uh, a closing pharmacist, and then they would usually overlap for a few hours midday, right? Um, and then it, it was even common for there to be like a mid pharmacist who'd be there like about an hour or two after the morning pharmacist got there, and would be there for about an hour or two after the closing pharmacist. Like, like there would be there'd be like a, a middle coverage. Um, but that, you know, that, that requires uh, a corporate pharmacy to pay a lot of pharmacists. <laughs> and they realized a long time ago that, uh, about, about eight years ago, they realized they could get away with just not doing that and instead tell pharmacists that they basically, if they wanted to keep their job, they'd have to work 12 hour shifts every day the whole time the pharmacy was open. Um... And what they used to do is make use of, a, basically, a lot of states have laws that say that, uh, that if you're a medical professional um, in certain positions, you basically don't actually get lunch breaks. Um, or at least you have on-site, like, it's called on-site lunch breaks. This whole, it's this whole thing where basically states are like, oh yeah, you know, if you're, if you're in a really important medical professional who, like, you, you know, uh, let's say, the, the idea is like, let's say, you know, you're a doctor or a, a surgeon or something, or or an on-site pharmacist. Um, of course, of course, like, there may be times where that person needs to be available at all times. So, like, the state laws exist in such a way that, like, you might have to be on call for your, during your lunch break. But it's, it's written in such a way that basically it meant that, um, like, pharmacists could, could be asked by the company to just not have a lunch break. It's like, oh, I mean, technically you get a lunch break, but you have to be available. Um, so you just still have to be in the pharmacy. Uh, so really this just worked out to, like, functionally no lunch break. And then as it was getting clear that uh, pharmacists might, you know, do something, like, some were quitting over it, and there was, like, more talks about possibly unionization and stuff, um, then all the major companies, basically, were like, you know, you know, we should give you a lunch break. We should just close the pharmacy down for 30 minutes. And if we close the pharmacy down for 30 minutes, then the pharmacist can have a lunch break. And uh, now there's no problem. See? We're we're benefiting you. We, the company, are so pro-pharmacist now. But, but again, here's the whole thing. 
prior to this all happening, there was just two pharmacists. There was an overlap period. So pharmacies did not need to close down for 30 minutes because you had overlap of pharmacists. Um, you still don't have that. There's still usually one pharmacist that's working at a pharmacy for the entire day, and they happen to get 30 minutes of a break, and that's it, in their whole, whole 12 hours a day. 30 minutes of break. Um, so it's nonsense, and it's, uh, it's very much, I feel like, one of these corporate moves where they're kind of hoping that everyone just forgets that there was a time where it wasn't like that. And it's always worded to be like, oh, this is the, the ever so, ever so decent, like, we give you this break. Aren't we great? So yeah, it's a whole, whole nonsensical thing. Of course, corporate pharmacies fuck over their employees. Yup, it's a whole, whole thing. All of, pretty much all of them do it too. You'll notice that like, over the last X amount of years in most staffs, uh, in, in most states, like uh, Walmart, Walgreens, um, I think Rite Aid even started doing, doing it. They all followed the same thing. They basically all realized they could get away with doing things a certain ways if they, if they did it like that. So all of them do it. So there's no, like, better place to go because all of them do it for the main corp companies. You kind of have to hope, like, you, you'd have to hope if you want to work in that kind of setting, um, that, like, you're at a retail, or at, a, at an independent pharmacy, and the independent pharmacy happens to be doing well enough that they can um, afford to have multiple pharmacists. Most independent pharmacies, like, are, are not like able to have a really good staffing um some in bigger areas can, can get can do really good staffing and if they can then you basically don't have any of those issues but, but a lot of a lot of independent pharmacies are like run by like one or two people that just wanted a better better situation in the area Pretty sure everyone on staff at my pharmacy leaves the store for lunch breaks. Yeah, um, they they should. Uh, yeah, they like that's that's basically the whole thing. If if you have a dedicated lunch break where you can shut the pharmacy down, then you can say you you don't have to worry about this other like law that most states have where it's basically there must be a pharmacy on the prem pharmacist on the premises. So. So back, back when there wasn't a lunch break period, even if the pharmacist did step out to like have a, have a bite to eat or something for some, some sort of lunch break time, they literally had to be like within the building property. Like technically they could go out to their car, although that's like, even that was a gray area in some, some states wording. Um, so yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Um, but now, now with pharmacies fully closing for 30 minutes, the pharmacist can actually fully leave and, and like, leave the property. The thing that I think is a little funny about this is that the pharmacies, like the companies, are still pretty much like, oh, this will only be, only be for 30 minutes, you know, close on, close for 30 minutes, and then they open back up. But if you think about this, this isn't actually a 30 minute lunch break usually. This actually works out to a lot less than a 30 minute lunch break. Uh, most, most of the time, unless, unless the staff is going to be very strict about it. We're, we're pretty strict about it in our pharmacy. The staff pretty much needs to be closing their gates like a minute before the, uh, the lunch break starts for everybody to actually be able to leave like on time and clock out on time and then um the gate probably needs to be like the pharmacy gates probably need to be opening about a minute after the 30 minutes otherwise they probably were clocking in early like most of the time if pharmacies are are actually like shutting if they're shutting down like a one or two minutes after the the lunch break is supposed to start because they're finishing helping out a person and if they're opening right, right on the dot of when the lunch break is supposed to end, then usually everyone's missing out on, like, potentially up to 10 minutes of their lunch break. Um, it's really common to see, like, five or six minutes missed out on, though. 
So we're looking at 20 to 25 minute lunch breaks if if everything works out well. And yeah, it's just a... It mostly, it mostly just annoys me that like the companies found a way to just remove extra pharmac pharmacists from the staff. And like... They did it in a way that mostly just makes most people angry at the pharmacy, and it's like, I get it, like... Uh... Well, we only have two pharmacists on staff. Yeah, that's usual, that's... For a standard, like, 9 to 9 pharmacy, or even, uh... What's becoming a lot more common these days is a, uh, like, 9 to 7 pharmacy. But yeah, usually there's only two pharmacists on staff. So, so there's usually, like, the most common rotations are, like, two pharmacists on staff, and one pharmacist will work 12-hour days for the, for, like, for about half the week, and the other will work 12-hour days on the other half the week, and then they'll, they'll do a rotate. So that, like, so that one of them has, like, four of the seven days, and the other one has four of the seven days the other week. Um, and there's some degree of variance, and obviously if you have a... If you're nine to nine, that's a 12-hour day. If the pharmacy is nine to seven, then that's... That's gonna be not quite 12-hour days. But... It's like a whole... A whole thing... Pharmacists are scary. One made me sick. I mean, yeah, that's that's a whole other thing. People are generally scared. I think uh, there's a lot of people in medical professions that also really shouldn't be in medical professions, in my opinion. I think uh, in my in my scope, my bubble of experience and where all I've worked and who all I've encountered and stuff. I would say uh, probably about 80% of pharmacy technicians seem to have problems, um, either because it seems like they they speak about things they don't actually know about, like they're not pro like like they kind of go out of scope, or, or there's just a whole lot of various issues, or they're not necessarily in that position. Uh, for the good reason, for like, for good reasons. Or they're like overly stressed about stuff and they just don't think clear-headed enough. There's, there's a lot of problems. Pharmacists, I would say, are usually less problematic. Um, I mean, I think you're gonna have some state-to-state -state issues with that too, though. Like, again, I live and work in Washington State, so there's just a... There's gonna be a big difference between people in Washington State overall and people in other states. But, uh, out of pharmacists, I feel like most pharmacists I've worked with are actually, actually not as problematic as I always assumed they would be. There, there definitely are problematic pharmacists. Uh, I have, I have worked with, <laughs> with pretty problematic pharmacists. And, uh, it is a big reason why I'm very picky about what pharmacy I would work in at all. Like, uh... I, I do not like to go work at the other pharmacies, like, within my chain, because I do not like working with certain people. And... We... we have, a uh, We have asked, like... Like, when, when a pharmacist goes on vacation, right, there's... there's typically pharmacists from other locations that will, like, fill in, or... There's, there are some pharmacists that, like, don't have a set location. They'll work all wherever needs gap-filled kind of thing. Oh. But, like, at my location, we specifically have, like, a few that were kind of blacklisted. Like, we've told the person making the schedules, like, don't put those people there. We, we are not okay with working with them. They're <laughs> too problematic.
Next time, hate on the corporate and not the employees. Yeah. I think it's hard. When it comes to something like pharmacy, I do think it's hard to... Uh, the corporation has usually done a lot of things to make it make themselves feel very distanced from it. And usually, you're going to be frustrated at things that feel like it is the, uh, the employee's fault. And it's also hard to know which things are, like, the, the person's fault and which things are not. Like, I mean, in pharmacy, it's like, oh, could they have done this before they did something else? Like, there's just a... There's a lot of factors, and I think it is it is hard to assess things. And to some degree, I think uh, the companies have have worked on trying to make it hard to assess things. Okay, we. I want to carry things. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Get that and that. Oh, I took energy shield off. Interesting. I don't remember taking energy shield off of anything. Put energy shield there. That's a copy of the last spell in your wand. Nice. Projectile. Add timer, this would be another like trigger thing. That would be good. Um divide by four, that seems good. Uh how oh, it's good. Okay. I think we should make a return trip here in a second. More blood to power. I think blood to power is probably good. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure when to best use it, so we gotta figure some of this out. Okay. I don't think I want to do this. So we're very almost broke. I don't even think I can afford- yeah, I can't afford most of these things. We need to go get money. We need to get money! Alright, maybe I will wrap up this little stream. Um... I don't know if I'm ready to wrap up this trip. But also, I am trying to get a hungry and want to, like, do some of the other stuff I was thinking about. Just take me to the cursed rock. But on the other side, this went to a power plant, right? I believe.
Oat went live. Oh my god. Oh, Oat was doing practice today, wasn't she? I think so. Okay, there's the curse room. We don't want to go, hold on. We don't want to go through that one. Go through that one. We can go into the uh, if the mirror world towers are there, and if they are, I wonder if we can like get more more of those ones. That'd be interesting. We need to put this on something that's going to be far away. I'm so scared of it.
All these trees with little white flower clusters are blooming. Oh, that sounds very pretty. Yeah, now that's bridge up the middle. We'll have to go. I'll have to go on like a, a walk. There's there's a nice walking like a nice park to go on a walk in. And there's like a wildlife refuge. I'll have to go I have to go there soon while everything's blooming. Blooming like an onion. Cherry blossom trees in blue. There's a lot of those in our area, I feel like. I'm just thinking, like, I'm very scared of Touch of Smoke. And I'm gonna have to cast it. I was gonna do some organizing before I ended stream, but maybe I should start next stream by doing that, because then I can cast some more things. We would need to heal every time we cast this. Also, it does not say how much damage. Is it just 20? It gains damage equal to 20% of your health, maybe? short radius. Transmutes everything in a short radius. Is a short radius like like I could cast it with uh, just uh, a single single timer Lumi? Or is a short radius like the same radius as Lava to Blood? Goodness gracious. It's so terrifying. Nuke Orbit. 
We are gonna have to cast some new Corbett, right? Like, that will be funny. I don't have a spot for orbits. So I don't think I have a spot for orbits. We'll, we'll put it here. I need to go kill, kill Master, and get the, get that one spell, so we can start doing weird shenanigans with it. Find a second healing bolt. Maybe, maybe I should have two healing bolts. Did I bring healing bolt? Oh yeah, I did. I did. Ow! Ooh, that might not be good. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. I do this. Why is this so slow? Does this have a. Oh, it has a huge castle. Oh my god. I don't want a huge castle. Uh -oh. Oh, 
Hold on. Hold on. There we go. We are running lower on mana when we get that. I did get did get much more mana intensive. Just trying to think of where I want to put the uh, gamma. Dwarf to A's. <laughs> to A's. Deadly, thank you for subscribing for three months. Dwarf to A's indeed. I'm trying to decide. I'm like, <laughs> it's dwarf to A's. It said so. I'm trying to decide, like, if I want to do anything else before I wrap up. Like, I have stuff I want to work on on the map, but I think I need to re-go through some of the area. Like, like I need to that whole new robot place thing. I need to, I need to like. Uh, I need to figure out how to map it. I need to better line some stuff up with it. I just feel like so much of my map I need to fix. All of like the hell stuff is just all donked up on the map. And apparently that master area and everything else over there. Three ad manas for this to work. That's so silly. Healthy amount of
What the heck? Is it running out of mana before... I gotta mess around with a lot of stuff for fun later. Do you remember 1.5 coming out? We're talking about Stardew. Remember Stardew 1.5 coming out? I remember it coming out. I remember because it was like literally like a month after we finished our other stuff. You were streaming that morning. Were you streaming Stardew? Oh, you were streaming Stardew. Amazing. if we put a boomerang on this.
to find the eleventh orb. I'm just so confused about the eleventh orb now. Like, where could it be? I guess if there's one orb that's in hell, maybe the other orb is, like, in the sky? Hmm. So next, next Noita, A, next Noita will be the hundredth Noita, which is pretty, pretty interesting to me. Um, B, uh, there's a lot of like little things I want to do. I, I want to do some fixing the map stuff. Um, I have to find, you know, God, we have to find the other missing like spot for this. There's, there's like a lot of little things I gotta do. Cause we're missing, we're missing one, uh, like, triangle thing. To do the map updates. The map updates are all so scary though, because they involve being in areas that are so scary. But I think we could do that. I think we're gonna go we're gonna go say hi to Oat. I'm gonna stop my noita ing for the morning or afternoon gonna do some do some other stuff for a bit and then I will be back in a few hours with something else what the other thing is I'm not sure but anyway have a wonderful day thank you for hanging out deadly GG on all of your errands have fun I assume you're you're about to play the stardew update now so good luck on stardew I don't know when I'm going to play Stardew Update. But probably, probably Torny and I will play Stardew Update at some point. Maybe it'll be soon. Yeah. Good question. You're fixing stream things. Oh my gosh. Does that mean your plan is to stream the Stardew? I know you'd mentioned, like, wanting to, to stream again. That's very exciting. Alright. Anyway. Have a wonderful day. Take care.